Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're still on our faith series. We're still on our faith series. And the title of this one is going to be, or the title of this one is Contrary to Hope, Believe. Contrary to Hope, Believe. Contrary to Hope, Believe. Let's all open our Bibles to Genesis. Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15, verse number 1. Genesis chapter 15. The word of the Lord is going to come forth right now. Word of the Lord is going to come forth right now. We don't take the word of the Lord for granted right now. We give reverence to his word. We respect the word right now. The spirit of the Lord will quicken a word to you right now that will bring forth your miracle. One word from God will bring forth your miracle. Get ready for the word. Get ready for the word of God right now. Genesis chapter 15 verse number 1 says this. It says, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, saying, do not be afraid. Abraham, I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. But Abraham said, Lord God, what would you give me, seeing I go childless? And the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Then Abraham said, look, look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. Behold, verse number four says and behold the word of the lord came to him saying this one shall not be your heir but one who will come from your own body shall be your heir then he brought him outside and said look now toward heaven count the stars if you are able to number them and and he said to him so shall and he said to him so shall your descendants be Verse number six says, and he believed the Lord, and he count, accounted it to him for righteousness. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for his word right now. Now we're going to go into this teaching right now. Contrary to hope, believe. Contrary to hope, believe. This is an extension of our faith teaching series. Faith teaching series is so important. We get the revelation of walking by faith in the verse that we have just read or in the verses that we have just read is very evident are you listening it is very evident in the scriptures that Abraham and Sarah Abraham and Sarah his wife they were childless they were childless they were without a child and they were well advanced in years that means that not only were they childless but they were old Abraham and Sarah were incapable of producing a child, incapable of producing a child. Or in plain terms, if you want to put it, Abraham and Sarah needed a miracle. They needed a miracle. They needed a divine intervention. How many of you here today say, Pastor, I need a divine intervention. Abraham and Sarah were there. They needed a divine intervention. Divine intervention. But verse number 5 says something so profound. Verse number 5 says, it says, Then he brought him outside and said, Look, look now toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. Then to somebody said, The Lord said to Abraham, so shall your descendants be so shall your descendants be so so shall your descendants be so in verse number five we see in that scripture verse that god saw the need he saw the need and gave them the promise to fulfill the need god saw the need and god gave them the promise of a child he gave he saw the need and gave them the promise of a child the promise of the child was in the word that god spoke to abraham so shall your descendants be god gave them the promise of a child and the promise of a child was in the word that he spoke to them so shall your descendants be so shall your descendants be like that of the stars are you listening to me child of god so shall your descendants be that is the word of god for somebody that is the word of god for somebody that is believing god for the fruit of the womb i'm here to tell you under this anointing so shall your descendants be hallelujah so shall your descendants be so abraham had a need we demanded oh a supernatural fulfillment 
It demanded a supernatural fulfillment because the need of Abraham cannot be fulfilled naturally speaking. So they they had a need, and the need demanded a supernatural fulfillment. But God saw the need. I love God. God saw the need and gave them a word. Oh, they had a need. God saw the need and gave them a word. Gave them the promise to fulfill the word. Hallelujah! You have a need. I know you have a need. But I'm telling you, there is a word of God for you. There is a word of God that will cause you to fulfill that promise hey 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 there is a word for you hallelujah there is a word for you a word that will cause you oh to uh, to fulfill oh that which your heart desire hallelujah so many I believe are here today many people here today I believe you're here oh and you have a need and the need demands a spiritual fulfillment spiritual fulfillment god i love god god in all wisdom knows you have a need he knows you have a need and he knows that your need oh he knows you have a need a need that can only be fulfilled supernaturally supernaturally so as a result of that i'm here to let you know because you have a need god has given you a word god is about to give you a word that will cause that need to be fulfilled are you listening to me if you're here and you're believing god for a child the word of the lord says none shall be barren none shall be barren none shall be barren you hear you believe in god because anytime maybe you pick up a seed there is a miscarriage i'm here to let you know that the word of the lord says you will not miscarry you will not miscarry your children no more in the name of jesus christ are you listening to me you're here today it's a pastor i'm sick i'm believing god for the healing the word of the lord says by his stripes you're healed by his stripes you're healed that is the word of god by his stripes you're healed hallelujah you hear you say oh pastor oh i lack finances i don't have money i'm poor and i'm here to let you know that god says his word says my god my god shall supply all your needs according to your riches according to your riches no according to his riches in Christ Jesus Christ my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in Christ my God shall supply my God shall supply that is a word for you if only you can take that word that word is about to produce results that word is about to take flesh that word is about to do a miracle for you now in the name of Jesus Christ so there are so many needs today and the good thing about it is there is a word there is a word for every need there is a word oh you may say i'm depressed the word of the lord says to you the word of the lord says weeping may endure for a night oh hallelujah weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning what do you know what is your need what is your need you're unemployed is that what you are oh child of god the god we serve he said there is nothing too hard for god to do not job oh hallelujah he owes thousands oh he owes well how many cartels thousands of the cartels on the high hill listen gold is mine he's the producer of gold he spoke them into existence he spoke them to existence this is the reason why when you go to heaven you'll be walking on gold hallelujah hey this is a god we serve he has a word for everything a word for you hallelujah a word for you so today i want us to see something so profound i want us to see what happens between the promise of god and the actual fulfillment of the promise see this is where a whole lot of people are they have a promise they have a word what happens between the word and the manifestation what happened or we put it this way let's see what did father abraham do between the promise so shall your descendants be and the actual manifestation of the promise what happened what are you supposed to do as a believer as a believer what are you supposed to do between the word of promise and the actual manifestation yes god says he will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus he has said it but in your pocket nothing is happening so what happens between the word of promise and the manifestation 
God says, by his stripes you heal. Is there any sickness that God can heal? No. No. Even the sicknesses are not even yet discovered. I'm here to tell you that God can heal any sickness. But somebody will be here saying to me, Lord, all I needed is my migraine. Oh, migraine. 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 So you have seen the word. By his stripes you heal. But yet still, you still feel your migraine. You still feel the pain of migraine. What is happening? What happens? What are you supposed to do between the promise and the manifestation? Between the promise and and the manifestation what am i supposed to do as a believer am i supposed to sleep am i supposed to dance am i supposed to you know party what am i supposed to do ignorance is the strength of the oppressor so we want to find out what you are supposed to do so that we can do it and have victory in jesus name are you here what you do between the word of promise and the manifestation of the word of promise will determine your victory or your defeat. Did you hear that? What you're supposed to do between the word of promise and the actual manifestation will determine your victory or will determine your defeat. Are you here? What? You do between the promise of God and the actual fulfillment will determine your supernatural intervention. Supernatural manifestation. Supernatural. Supernatural. Are you here with me? Pastor, what do I do when hands are laid on me to receive my miracle? What do I do between the time that hands are laid on me and the time that I receive the manifestation, what do I do? What am I supposed to be doing? Are you here? I'm here to let you know that if you are a student of the word, if you are a student of the word, and you know the word to a degree, you will understand that majority of miracles, they do not happen instantaneously. Majority. Are you here? Oh, come on, somebody put a smile on your face. It's a fact majority of miracles don't happen instantaneously they happen progressively there are instant miracles don't get me wrong there are god can do anything he wants to do but if you study the scriptures carefully you will come to this realization that majority most miracles they don't happen instantaneously they happen progressively that is why the scripture says that as you lay hands on the sick they shall recover it's a process so some people come to church the pastor lay hands on me i got headache i got pain in my head let the pain go now in jesus name, they lay hands boom the pain should go now and then if the pain doesn't go now they slip into doubt and unbelief oh it didn't happen did it no as they went jesus himself when he prayed for the lepers the bible says as the lepers went as they went that means that when he prayed for them nothing happened they started going they started going and the miracle took place so i'm here to let you know that god can do your miracle instantaneously he can do your miracle just like that he can fix you just like that he can fix you with the husband just like that he can fix you with the wife just like that he can fix your miracle just like that but many a times it does not happen like that so you should be ready for just like that and you should also be ready when it takes some days and some months for your miracle to manifest you should be ready for just like that and also you should be made you should be ready for the progressive flow of the are you here am i helping somebody should be ready we should be ready at all times this is the reason why i want to teach you what you can do between the word and the manifestation of the promise between the word of promise and the manifestation of the promise what am i supposed to do what you do in between the word of promise and the manifestation of the promise will determine your victory or your defeat are you here are you here can we get in the word let's get to romans chapter 4 romans chapter 4 like i said i will not be able to finish this word so bear with me if by half two we close don't worry we'll pick it up again next week We'll pick it up again next week this is a powerful word it's a word that you need to know you need to know that your neighbor said through knowledge the righteous shall be delivered oh hallelujah 
the knowledge of the word hallelujah the knowledge of the word oh i don't know why but it's coming to me again you know there was a lady that was in church some years back the lady she doesn't like me she said it she said as for you i don't like you but before she left very stages or the last stages of the the time that she left i we always loved her anyway but for some reason she didn't, she didn't like her. i don't know what we did but she didn't like us anyway so she said one day you were preaching you were preaching and i had fibroid and i was about to be operated on i was about to be operated on because he's tried everything and nothing was working and the pastor didn't like you but that day you were preaching and you said something and i caught it and that day i did not go for my fat road operation and that was the last time i saw her i don't know where the fat road is and she said hey i was fine i didn't go for the operation it wasn't long after that she went she left so i don't know whether she remained healed or whatever happened i don't know she left church are you here but it just it just came i mean that thought just came to me again that the word of the lord is loaded with power even as i'm speaking right now miracle can take place god can fix you he can deliver you he can go he can give you a miracle he can give you a child now now he can protect that which you have now in jesus name it can happen and I believe it's happening. It's happening now. It's happening now. Somebody's destiny is being changed now. Somebody's destiny. Somebody's affliction is being turned around now. Somebody's captivity is destroyed now. 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 Receive it now in Jesus' name. Jesus. So, anyway, God bless that lovely lady. We love her anyway. Whatever she is, we love her anyway. Hallelujah. So, Romans chapter 4, verse 17 says this. It says, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed. God, who gives life to the dead and called those things which do not exist as though they did. Who contrary to hope, in hope, believe. So that he became the father of many nations according to what was, according to what was, spoken according to what was 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 spoken so shall your descendants be so shall your descendants be and not being weak in faith he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old and the deadness of sarah's womb and he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief. But he was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. Oh, I love verse 21. Be fully persuaded. Hallelujah. Be fully persuaded. Hallelujah. Be fully convinced that what he had promised, he has, he has, what he has promised, he was also able to perform being fully persuaded then to somebody say neighbor are you fully persuaded are you fully are you fully persuaded are you fully persuaded so right now we want to find out what father abraham did to pave the way for the supernatural what did he do from the word of promise from the word of promise to the manifestation i promise you we throw this mic away because for some reason i don't know what's happening to the mic but can you hear me loud and clear? Are you okay? We throw this mic away. It's not giving me, it's not giving us a good feedback. Okay? You see, all this is not helping us, all this. You know, too high up, no ceilings. Are you with me? This is why we need our own house. Yes, and it's so. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are you here? We're talking about faith. We're walking by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. Doesn't care. I like it. Oh, Jesus. Help me out. Are you here? The Bible says, let the furnace be heated seven times hotter. I will say, my God is able. Hey! Hey! Let the furnace of affliction be heated seven times hotter. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we will say to you, our God is able. Hey, is somebody here who knows the God that is able? Do you know God that is able? He is able. Hallelujah. He is able. He is able. He is able. So let the fellows of affliction be heated seven times hotter. We will declare, we will stand in the midst of the affliction and say, Our God is able, our God is able, he's able, he's able to deliver us. He's able, he's able. It's about time. This city sees some radical Christians. 
radical Christians, people who know their God, shall be strong and do exploits. Hallelujah. It shall be strong and do exploits. We are strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, let's see whether we can pick up this one. Because we've only got a few minutes to close. Apologize. for t- I, Do I have to? No, I don't have to. Apologize to pray? No. We will not apologize. Because... It's a business of the hour we need to take care of. Hallelujah. So, let's pick up the first point here. The first point in Romans chapter 4, the scripture verse that we have just read is this. It says, contrary to hope. In hope, believe. In hope, believe. Contrary to hope means Abraham's situation, his circumstances was beyond hope. Contrary to hope in hope he believed and i'm saying to you that contrary to hope means abraham's situation was beyond hope his situation was hopeless hopeless his situation was without hope his situation defiled hope hope it defiled hope that means that medically speaking there was no hope for this father called abraham and this mother called Sarah, there was no hope. Are you listening to me? I don't know whether you have been at a place where the doctors have declared no hope on your case. No hope on your medical condition. No hope. I have been there. I have bought the t-shirt. And God has done a miracle. And I have a testimony for you. Are you here? No hope. So, Abraham, no hope. Sarah, having a child, no hope. So, contrary to hope, in hope they believe in hope they believe hallelujah that means in god they believe hey in god they believe that means that despite despite the hopelessness of abraham and the hopelessness of sarah's situation in god they believe in god they believe in god and his word they believe oh who can say today that in god i believe in god i believe it does no matter what i'm going through but in god i believe in god i believe i believe i believe in god i believe in god i believe in god i believe oh jesus hallelujah this reminds me of a testimony i had about a man of god you know he served the devil so much he said the devil so much he's been an agent of the devil and he said one day in a city of nigeria called lagos hallelujah he said there was a time in lagos nigeria when the demonic world the witches the wizards the satanic the satanic world decided to have a meeting satanic world decided to have a meeting in lagos nigeria do they plan their meetings and just before the meeting started the believers in Nigeria went into some crazy praise. Crazy praise. Not strong prayers. Crazy praise. Hey, the pray, the cra- the pr- oh Jesus. The praise was, oh hallelujah. The praise was so crazy to the point where it disrupted the demonic assignment. Hey, are you here? What man? Are you listening to me? This restra- oh Jehovah God. Oh bless us. Are you here? They lifted up a crazy place and the crazy place sent confusion into the camp of the enemy. They couldn't have the demonic meeting anymore. Are you here? Ask your neighbor, neighbor, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Do you really, really know who you are? In God, we, we believe. Listen. Your pain, your pain, is severe we know god knows your pain is severe and that pain has defiled all hopes the pain you're going through has defiled all hopes the pain is so severe but i'm here to let you know as a man of god that in god you must believe in god and his word you must believe your situation today i know is tough it's so complicated There is nothing else in your human imaginations that can help. Your situation is so tough, it's so complicated that it has also defiled all hopes in the natural. But I'm here to let you know that child of God, 
in God you must trust. In God you must trust. In God you must trust. And I like this about God. I like this. This is like a good news. You see, in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your your, 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 your situations and your circumstances, in the midst of all the troubles that you're going through, there is a good news. The good news is, hey, God has a promised word for you. He has a word that has covered your situation. He has a word that has covered your situation. He has a word, a word of promise for you, a word of promise. And in this word, you must believe. You must believe. You must believe in this word. Child of God, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how strong the oppositions all oh, come against you, no matter how strong the oppositions are in God and His Word, you must believe. You must believe. Listen, child of God, it does not matter how long you have been barren, it does not matter how long you have been unproductive. But I'm here to let you know that there is a God who has a word, who has a word for you, who has a word of change for you, a word of promise, child of God, a word of promise. He has a word. Listen. I'm here to let you know that it doesn't matter what the doctors say. It does not matter. The one who created the doctor has a word for you. The one who created the doctor has a word for you. He has a word for you. Are you here? It doesn't matter what they say. Because sometimes the words they speak is like, an, it's like a dagger. It will kill you straight. And many people today, according to statistics, they die or they are dead because, not because of the disease, but the fear, the fear, the fear, the fear, the fear, the fear is what has killed a whole lot of people. But then you just say, that is minus you. That is minus you. Minus you. So, child of God, when Abraham believed in, oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor. Say, contrary to hope, you must believe. You must believe. You must believe. And turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, we'll pick this up next week. But the Lord is with you. Whatever the situation is, you have overcome. You have overcome. You are a winner. In Jesus' name, the life of God is in you. Greater is he, oh, greater is he that is in you, that he that is in the world. Oh, God bless you. We love you so much. Hallelujah. But what well, we have to close, we have to close now, church. And I just want to pray before we close. Okay.